Hey, Cypher here with another episode of Based on a True Story, this time Monuments Men. While this movie is fun, don't be fooled, it's basically historic fiction. Much of it is oversimplified or made up out of whole cloth altogether. This movie totally discounts the efforts to save historic artifacts prior to the events depicted, as though no one else in the world cared. The Monuments, Fine Arts, and Archives program, or MFAA for short, was just a better organized attempt. George Stout, the real person behind George Clooney's character, was not some renegade putting together a ragtag band of swashbuckling conservationists. He was a founding member of a committee that campaigned to save art before America entered the war. The entire mission of the Monuments Men is misrepresented here. They weren't going in to recover art, they were going in to protect it. Many of these people sat in England telling the planners what buildings they shouldn't bomb. Those who were on the ground spent most of their mission trying to move precious works away from the battlefield, not finding missing stuff. They even did repairs in the field. Preservation was their mission. Now that could make for a good movie, but instead we got this pack of lies. There were so many more Monuments Men than are depicted. The organization became over 300 people strong, so much for a small group of outcasts. While the group dynamic is entertaining, that's all falsified. The Monuments Men mostly worked in an advisory capacity, and also were too spread apart to be working as a team. They never were brought together as a group. Since they were never in a group like this, I think it's especially prudent to point out that Clooney's character went to the Pacific Theater. That's half a world away. Good job on that. The whole finding information from the dentists thing actually happened. Just not during the war. It was in 1949. Kind of a different story in peacetime. The romantic relationship with the secretary and one of the Monuments Men is fictitious. The author of the book this movie is based on was rather appalled by that one. No dentist was keeping stolen paintings on their walls. This is explicitly against the book this movie is based on. Hitler's Nero decree was a real thing, but it was never carried out. The person who was tasked with disseminating the orders chose to defy them. That man was Albert Speer who became known as the Nazi who said sorry. Even though he was a war criminal, he was also a fantastic architect. And he probably should have at least been mentioned in this, given how important a role he played. Two of the Monuments Men did perish, but not as depicted. None of the other 300 or so Monuments Men died in reality, and those who did are grossly misrepresented here. The whole heroic sacrifice for art never happened. The person Hugh Bonneville represents did die near art, but he was trying to move a different work away from a battlefield right as a shell burst near him. The French character was actually an American who died from sniper fire. The focus on the Madonna of Bruges is an odd screenplay choice. Instead of looking at how Hitler was purposefully trying to rob culture as a whole, we are told that one particular work is the most important. Why would you do that? I hate how movies never seem to understand how landmines work. This movie does the same thing that so many have done before. Landmines do not wait for you to step off of them. They kill you instantly. None of this, I think I stepped on a landmine crap. Just boom, you're dead. There was a very specific model of landmine created by the Soviets in the late 1960s that did this, but it basically never saw service. This is a stupid Hollywood myth and it needs to stop. Ooh, that was bad. I liked this movie when I watched it, but after having done the research, I don't care to ever see it again. It's so inaccurate that I say avoid it altogether. So, thanks for watching. Tell me what other Based on a True Story movies need busting in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and check out some previous episodes. I'll see you next time.